Today, I wanna to show you the capabilities of how you can use Notion to organize all of your tasks and your projects while you're in grad school or even after grad school. So this is a template that I've actually created. You can access it down below or it can expire you to, you know, kind of do your own thing and develop your own dashboard and template. So basically what it allows you to do is when you first come into it, it's a task-based dashboard. I actually have a version of this that I keep for myself with all my information in it, but I'm gonna keep that a little bit separate. So in here, what it has is it's a calendar that kind of allows me to see what my tasks are in general, a daily to-do list, some quick links that I can use, and then I can see all of my tasks here and I organize them for grad students in research, coursework, and teaching tasks. And so what I can do then is what I first like to do is kind of go into my projects dashboard and then what I can do is easily just add in projects here. So I have a project called Project 3, but I'm going to add in something like steroids and ion mobility. And then once this is in here, I can scroll up and click down on my quick links and I can actually go to projects and it'll take me to the just the table view. I could have something like that in my dashboard as well, but I prefer to have it in something like this. And so now I have my steroids and IM mobility in here, and now I can just go through and add in all of the tasks related to it. So I can come in here and I'm going to add in all my different tasks. So like one of my tasks is gonna be like my background, background literature search. Another task would be like creating solutions. So I'm going to add that in there, and then another one would be analyzing solutions. And these are kind of broad. I'm just trying to show you how to use it. And then I can do analyzing data and writing papers. So I kind of like to do it from going from the project, adding everything in, and then going back to my task. But you can easily do it just by adding them in on the task dashboard too. So I can come back to my task list. You can see nothing's really changed here, but if I drop down on research tasks, all of these have now been added in as a task. And that's because I have a relationship set up between my projects and my tasks, and it connects those together. And now I have all of those filling in on my tasks. And so now my next step, I would want to actually start scheduling out my tasks. So I have two ways that I can do this whenever I'm scheduling out a task. I can either come to this quick link here and say schedule tasks, and then I can click and drop them into different parts of my table and just do something like this. I can throw writing papers down here and I will throw this guy right here. And so then if I come back here, you can see that they still appear down here, but now they're also on my calendar as well. And you can see that if it appears on the day that today is, it's all gonna, also gonna show up in my daily to-do list. So if I just wanted to add a task to today, let's say I need to film YouTube video because that's what I'm doing right now today, I can just add that task in, it shows up on my calendar and it shows up on my daily to-do list as well. So I can have all of this here ready to go for me and I can always, if I need to change the date, move it around, I can just move it which is really nice because sometimes I overbook myself and I can't get everything done. So I can just move it around like that. I can also look at my tasks by project. So you can see no project is film YouTube video because I don't have anything set up for that. And my new projects can come in here like this. And I can look at it by status as well. So you can see these have no status. So I'm gonna go back to my calendar. And so all I have to do to get this off my to-do list is just check it here. And you can see it went off of my calendar and off my to-do list. So it's not something I have to do because it's already done. And if I check it, uncheck it saying it's not actually done, it appears back on my calendar. So this is how I use it. I usually put in the projects that I'm working on, the tasks related to it, and then schedule out my tasks like that. But you can use it you know, you can do it in a lot of different ways as well. You can always schedule your task. And then if I wanted to link this to a project, all I have to do is come in here and click my project and say, oh, it's actually related to project three. And now that has a project associated with it. I can also always go to my projects and look at it and see all of its tasks associated with it. 
Then in here, there's also an Eisenhower matrix. I know this is a really common thing. I have been kind of hit or miss on whether I actually use it or not. So I have where I can plan my tasks and then I can click here to see my different ones. So if I need to kind of figure out, I can say that this is important, but it's not urgent and it'll kind of throw it in here for me. And I can, you know, place these if you want to have that first. And then you can always move it from your Eisenhower matrix down here into your actual task list as well. The other thing that's good to know how to do is just to be able to come in here and like add in properties here. So for example, I have different properties. So I have like status of it and you can see all of this is blank. If I go to by status, you can see that again, all of these have no status. So what I can do is just drag these under to not started. And now that they're in not started, if I come back to my calendar, you'll see all of these are not started. And now if I want to, I can either change it in here and say, oh, this is actually in progress, or I can come under here and actually move them between. So if I want to say filming YouTube video is in progress, I can have it like that and I can have it here as well. I hope this is helpful for you to kind of see how to manage things in Notion. If you're working on just getting started on your research project, check out my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It also has a little bit in there for how to manage your projects as well. If you think Notion is super cool and wanna see how I actually organize research articles in Notion, check out this video here. And if you wanna see how to use ResearchRabbit in combination with Notion, check out this video here as well. If this video is helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips on how to become more efficient in your research. I hope to see you in the next video.